and wondered to yourself why you weren't achieving the success you desired, why you weren't reaching out towards the stars, why you weren't doing things you started to do? Well, your first problem is asking why and how am I going to do some of the things that I desire within my lifetime? You know, we're all scared of being judged by this someone, this fictional figure that, you know what, if I step outside my comfort zone, this other guy is going to come in place and judge me, you know, point a finger at me because... They really care about what I do in my life when they're living their own life, you know? So many times in life you see people fail rather than succeed because they're scared of acting uh, acting a certain way that differs from the status quo, you know? It blows my mind to see other people are not going to achieve some of the success that they truly desire because they're too busy worrying about what other people think, what other people do, you know? They're just concerned in their own little realm when really when you take control of your thoughts, although you may only think, so many thoughts per day within your mind you only think one thing at a time think about it you're only thinking about one thing as much as this is micro micromanaging it's changing you know think about one thing so if you can take control of your thoughts you pretty much can take control of your reality because there's always going to be certain external factors that happen within your life but it's a certain internal factors such as your attitude your mindset your perception on things that are going to create the reality that you want to see you see so your most valuable asset within your life is your brain and the most valuable commodity you have is time so when you take these two variables you can bind them together then you can create some power you know you get some leverage some credibility for yourself you know you're not sitting there at the end of the day saying why am I not succeeding to my full potential you know as much as I've gave it everything I have doing a workout whatever it is work you know mentally reading anything you always can take one more step. You can always read one more page. You can always climb one more mountain, whatever you want to call, you know, whatever metaphor that you want to use. So once you can come to terms with this, that everything starts within your brain. To move your arm, to move your leg, to start talking, it all starts within your brain. It's not your body, you know what I mean? You can take control. You have to take control of your life by being conscious about the decisions you make because the sh decisions shape destiny, as Tony Robbins would say. And it's the truest factor. It's like, it's like that one quote. It's one of my favorite quotes I've ever heard is that, if you understood the power of your thoughts, you would never think a negative thought again. You know, if you can live with that analogy for the rest of your life, hypothetically, you'll be able to do anything within your life because it doesn't matter who you are, you're going to get smashed in the face at some point. Life is going to hit you. Wouldn't it be nice if it was all sunshine and rainbows? But that, that's not how life works. You know, at times, it's going to bring you down. You know, pain is a great teacher because it allows you to see things that you probably wouldn't have seen. If you had no obstacles to overcome, life wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be entertaining, you know. So once you can learn how to program your brain by doing the things you don't like to do, then you can take control of your life. You know, some of the most successful people in the world, the way they succeeded was doing other things people did not like to do. You know, as much as they probably didn't like to do them, they did it, you know. Rather than watching TV, they were reading a book. You know, rather than sitting there with your buddies talking about pointless shit, they were doing other things that enhanced their life. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. All it matters is result, what you produce, rather you fail or succeed. That's all anyone really cares about. And the sad reality with this world, which I'm trying to change, is that everyone really cares about seeing you you fail. You know, you get that feel of feeling of jealousy when someone else is succeeding more than you. And you know, that's terrible. That's a bad thing that we program our brains. So you got to think, everything that was created around you was created by no one smarter than you and I. But everything that's been done, all this damage to this earth was caused by human actions. So therefore, we can change it. So let's come together as people, as a nation, and switch our mindset towards change. That change is not seen as a negative, but a positive. And let's make a movement. Let's get a movement going together and not let someone starve. Why not feed them? We don't have to post it on Facebook, but for Thanksgiving, why don't we go give to a family in need? You know, don't tell anyone, but go buy a meal for someone starving, you know, and give it to them. And all you're going to get is the gift that you feel, you know, of life. That's real life.